All right, this is Eli Bates with Lorenz. I'm going to make a short video to show guys how to update Lorenz product via Ethernet. This applies to HDS units. I'm going to use this card, the standard software update card that most of our pro staffers have received and that's carried by a lot of our retailers. We're going to use this HDS 12 touch to update this HDS 5. This is a very handy feature to use for saying things like the HDS 5X which is a sonar only unit and does not have its own map card so you cannot use a, a card to update the software in the unit but you can via Ethernet update units remotely. So how we're going to do this, take this card the same exact software that you get from our website that would update an HDS 5 already you can use from another unit via Ethernet to update that unit. So on the touch, press menu, go to files, and the card, you can see this software card that we send out has a lot of software on it. This is why it can update so many different units. What we're going to do is find the Gen 2 keypad software right there. because We're going to be updating a HDS 5 Gen 2 keypad. Select it, select upgrade, we're going to do remote display, and it's going to say Please power off the, the remote display, then power it on with the plus or up button pressed. Press OK once this, the upgrade has completed and the remote display is up and running the new software. So we're going to come down here to the 5, we're going to turn it off. And when we turn it back on, we're going to hold the up button, just like the instruction said on the touch. So now that's off, we're going to hold the up button while we turn it on. And this is where a lot of people make a mistake. You have to hold this up button for a really long time to make it to put it in this software update mode. But you're just going to continue holding it until it completely boots up, and it's going to boot up, updating the software. We're going to see on the screen. It's going to say updating software. You can see right now I'm holding the button for a long time, and nothing's happening because it's going into that software update mode. We're going to keep holding it, keep holding it. You're going to end up holding it up for long time until it pops up with this screen. Validating update, please wait, do not turn off during update as this may damage your device. You're going to see a status bar going across. While this is going on, the touch is sitting here on the same screen just waiting. It's pushing out that that update data via, via, via Ethernet, but it doesn't change. But you can see the 5 down here, the status bar of the 5 going across. So this will slowly go across, it's going over Ethernet, so it's a little slower than updating with the map card directly in the unit, but we'll update, that status bar will go all the way across and it will update that unit. We're going to sit here and watch it go across, I'll probably speed this up in the video so we don't have to sit here and wait, watch it, but we're going to let it update and then we're going to, it's going to tell us to press the power button, we're going to press it, it's going to cycle power on this unit and it's going to come up and run the new software and then we're going to press OK on this unit because it says to after the software on the remote unit is up and going press OK and I'll show you how to verify the software is loaded on this unit and it's just checking the software just like you would before doing the update to make sure that it actually needs the update so this is going across via Ethernet you're going to see the status bar go across. This is very handy to be able to use inside a lot of retailers where they might have HDS 5Xs on display and they need to update software. So when this is done, it says upgrade complete, press the power button to reboot. Power button, it's going to cycle power, it's going to come back on. Still, this touch is on the same screen. So we're going to wait for this 5 to completely boot up. We're going to go in, validate that it has new software on it, and then we're going to press the OK button up there on that touch unit. And you can do this. I did it from a 12 to program a 5. You can do it from a any HDS to any other HDS as long as the first one has has a map chip built into it. You can use that unit to upgrade another one. So once this unit is up and going, we're going to press the menu button twice go to system, enter, about, enter, and there it is at the top, software version 
So that got the new update. Now we're going to come back up here to the 5, press OK, and we're done. That's it. That's how to update a unit via Ethernet.